Hello, and thanks very much for joining me again today. I've got another little video for Tonic Studios, and I'm using Designer's Choice number 16, and it's called the Vibrant Votive Holder. So I'll be showing you the die set first of all, and then I'll, sh I'll move on to show you how to make up one of the little votive holders. But I thought maybe today, just rather than go through that whole process, I'll show you exactly how it's made. But I wanted to show you how you can get good value for your money out of these sets as well. So I'll show you how you can use the dies that are supposed to be used to make the votive holder and how you can use those same dies to make a card and a little gift tag. So I'll just set go down and then we'll have another little look at it. So this is the die set. This is the envelope that it comes in and this is the little sleeve that's inside the envelope. And I have just removed that so that I can show it to you better and show you what's inside here. So you'll see first of all when you open it out that there's this little die and it's two-sided and if you cut this out it will give you uh, the sides to make this little votive holder. But you'll see from the other dies in the set here that there's this hexagonal one which means that you can use it to make a six-sided one. You'll have to cut three of these out and join them together. So you'll be joining the sides and then joining these little tabs around the, the base of this hexagon. But there's also a square in it. So you can use two of these together and make a little square, a little cube sort of shape. Now I'm just going to show you what I've already done here. This one is the hexagonal one and I've used a lot of the dies on there. And you can see I've used the hexagon for the base here. And then whenever I've stuck all the sides on, I've put another one inside. So I have used the Tonic Speciality card and it's Champagne Harlequin and you can see the beautiful texture in that. Um, that's the only card that I've used for this one. And this long die here is the one that I've used for the handle. So what I've done first of all is I've cut three of these out and a, and a hexagon. Then I have joined the bottoms of them all onto the the base of the hexagon and then join the sides together. You can use tracky glue for that but I use double sided high tack tape because I found it was just easier to manoeuvre it. Uh, before I assembled all those pieces, whenever I cut these out first of all, I used this beautiful die with the rose on it and I just put that inside and got this lovely pattern here. So. I'll just show you it on a piece of the other card here. They both come out plain whenever you cut them first of all and then you can set this one in, run it through the machine again and then do the same on the other side. So you can do that three times if you want to do the hexagon or you can do it twice if you want to make that other little shape. And I'll just show you the other little one here. So this one is just made using two of these. And that's a beautiful little container as well. It's really nice and there's a different handle for that one. So the handle for this one is quite long because it's got to go right across that full shape and then we've got this little shape here and that's the one that I've used with a kind of lacy edge on it across the top here. And again I've used the square for the base of, the, of this little one and I've used it on the outside and I've got a second one and used it on the inside because it just finishes the whole thing off a little better. So that's that one and this one and then I will show you some bits and pieces I've cut out here but if you go onto the blog this is the one that you're going to see on there and for this one I have used the Champagne Harlequin Speciality card. I've also used Cosmic Copper and that's pearlescent, double sided pearlescent card and then this one which is the Ivory Bouquet and that is handcrafted paper. So I'll show you just here because this will prob probably only be on the blog but I want to show you this as well. When you're going to cut out the little tag shape which is in the set as well and you want to cut it from speciality paper the paper flattens quite easily when you put it through the die cutting machine so just set your die on top of it. I'll just show you here. Take your die, set it on top and then just cut this piece off and only run this part through because if you were to run all of that through the die cutting machine this piece would be pressed down and then you'd lose all that 
really beautiful embossing on it. So that's that out of the way. Um, then I'll just show you this little one here. You can just do the detail on the top. I'll show you that here. So I have, I'm going to show you how to make that little tag, but I've cut this out and then I have just used this die on the top, but you can use this one and this one together to get a piece that just lifts out and sets on. So that's another nice little way of doing that. Um, the square can also be used, to, there's a, a larger square, a smaller square and then some detail. And I have used these two together. So I've used this one for the background, the larger square. That gives me this shape. Then I have cut the smaller one in my lovely uh, speciality card. And then I've used the pattern die on top of that. That's this one. I'll show you it up close there. And that has given me this beautiful shape here. And I've glued the two together to make a little pattern that I'm going to use on my card. So now I think I will just put these away and concentrate on making the card. I've got all my pieces ready to do the card. So this is an Ivory USA 6 card from Tonic Studios. And that's going to be my base. And then I have cut out this Cosmic Copper piece. And I have got it cut to 10.5 by 15.25 centimetres. And then this piece to go on top, and this one, as this is 10.5 by 15.25, this one then is 10 by 14.75. And I'm going to attach this one on top of this one. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and put double-sided uh, sticky tape on that. And the reason being, I find sometimes when I use tacky glue on these, you get a little line showing through on the front side, and you don't want that. So that um, doesn't happen at all whenever you use the double-sided tape. So I just wanted to pass on that little tip to you. So I'm going to attach those onto each other and then onto the card. Then I have cut out the hexagon and I'm going to put that in the centre like so. And then I'm going to put the, the little squares that I showed you at the beginning at the top. One here and one here. And then I've cut out the little shape that is supposed to be the handle. And you can see there I've used it. It's this little one. And I'm going to glue that across the centre of the card, just for a little bit of decoration. And then I have made myself a little backing, a kind of a topper. But I wanted it to be a little bigger than the just the little tag shape that comes here. So what I've done is taken this die, and I've just set that on the card. And you don't need to waste your cards, you just need to put the card in behind the one piece here and you don't you, you don't need to worry about wasting the two parts and I have done that it's left a little piece on here which I'm just going to snip off um, I don't need the bottom and I don't need this and I've cut another one exactly the same size and then I've added the detail on so I'm just going to snip these off down here then attach them and then I will just show you how I have layered all these up together to make the card so I'll go ahead and speed speed the cut the video up as I do that. That's the card so far and because I wanted to coordinate that with all of these other little pieces that I've done and the, the others that I'm going to be making, I have just taken a little bow from the same ribbon and a little flower there, a little rose, and I'm going to glue it onto the centre. I'll probably do that with my hot glue gun but I forgot to turn it on so I'll do that in a moment or two. But I've also taken these two little dies here and this one cuts out smile so you'll need to cut this one out first. 
Now I've done that on this cream card. Then I've also cut the same die out in the copper card and then placed this one into the centre and that has given me this little um, part that says smile on it. So I'm just going to glue one on top of the other um, and then I'll add those to the card as well. I don't want too much glue on that. I think I've just put a little bit too much on there. Dab that off again and there we are and then I'll just put that on top of this. Now it was important just to figure out where the little rose and the bow were going to go first of all because then that will tell me where the smile goes. So I'll just turn this around. I'm going to put those into the centre and I'll just add that on at the base there. So I'm just going to add some glue on there and then I shall head off and put my glue gun on and attach that onto the centre. Now, the other little thing that I was going to do, and I've left all the pieces here to show you, is a little tag with a little holder. So what I've done here is I've taken this die on top of the champagne card and I've cut out just one piece, like so. And then I have used this little die and I've set it onto the top there and die cut this shape out so it's given this lovely pattern effect on the top. So that's those two. And then I have put some, well I've stuck my rose on first too because I, d I wanted to be sure that the, the hot glue wouldn't go through onto the inside. Then I have taken the long handle shape die which is the one that I used for here. And I've cut that out in this copper and I'll show you where I'm going to use that in a moment. But I've gone ahead and put some double sided high tack glue along the base here and then down the side. And what I'm going to do now is put those together and that will make a little tag holder. So I've already burnished the sides of those and made sure that everything is going to go together nice and crisply. So all these edges are nice and crisp. And then just tuck that one in there and press down. And it gives you a lovely little holder, a little sleeve for putting something in. So what I've done then is taken this die which is slightly smaller than these two, as you can see, it fits inside here. So I've cut that out in the Cosmic Shimmer, the cop Copper Shimmer, sorry, card, and punched a hole in the top just with an ordinary little hole punch. Put my ribbon through again, and then that just slips inside there. So now I've got quite a little set, but what I've done to finish this off, because I thought it looked, it's beautiful the way it is, because that's a really lovely card, but I thought just to finish it completely, I would use this handle shape and I have well, I've gone ahead and actually just put it around the side here and I'm going to glue that together there and I will glue it onto the card as well when I decide actually just whereabouts I want it which wasn't just quite there but there we are. So that is that. Probably about the centre of that part. So as you can see there's more to more to the die set than meets the eye initially, so you can make up these little baskets, the little votive holders, in the two sizes. You can use it to make that's Nico snoring that noise. <laughs> uh, you can use it to make a card like this, and you can use it to do this as well. And then if you pop over to the tonic blog, you'll see where I have used the dies um, just slightly differently than I've done here to make this shape of a little votive holder. So thank you so much again for joining me. It's really lovely to see everybody commenting and actually just coming and, and looking at the videos in the first place, but I like to read your comments as well. So please, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love you to subscribe. And that way you'll see all of the new creations and new things that I'm making. As I, as I always say, there's always stuff in the pipeline there are scheduled videos already at the moment and I have a desk full of stuff today that I'll be carrying on with and I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, keep very safe and very well. Bye for now.